Okay, so letting 11 Euro Select packs choose our Foot Champions team. Are you facing ridiculous teams and you're stuck with ones just like this? Well, look no further. Head over to u 7 buycom and get yourself some Foot Coins using the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. It'll be linked in the description. They are cheap, safe, and the most reliable. So make sure you go ahead and check them out and make your team better than ever. Okay, boys, so today we are back with a brand new video. And as you can tell by the title today, we have got a special video. We have got some expensive trading card packs that are going to be choosing our Foot Champions team. So you guys might have seen the recent craze of people opening these Euro select boxes i myself also have done this and i did a break over on my twitch channel basically these boxes are very expensive and you can get some mad plays in here like literally in this video you will see some insane pulls like solo cards worth like 200 dollars. some of them can even go up to like 1500 as well like i don't even know what the most expensive ones are but there are some ridiculously expensive cards so yeah i managed to get my hands on a box and you're going to see the footage from my live stream that i did for the break basically a break is where people buy into it and they get cards from the box as well so yeah you're going to see that obviously Obviously, that's where we did the packs and then also after it I recorded the two players that I want per pack that will be chucked in there as well just in case you're a little bit confused why my kit may change or like after we've opened each pack so yeah I think that's really enough of me talking let's get straight into these packs and then I'll see you guys after just before we get into the rest of the video though I want to say a big thank you to today's sponsor which is the Ridge Wallet. And basically, if you don't know what Ridge Wallets are, basically they are a slim fit wallet, as you can see. That actually fit up to 12 cards to replace a big thick wallet, just like this. And also you can carry cash at the back. There's all different methods you can set this up. And the way I have it right now is you can slide cash right under there and it will grip onto it and keep it safe. And if you compare it to a normal size wallet, like I said earlier, it's a lot more practical and smaller and easier to carry about. It also comes in 30 different colors and styles, which is awesome, as you can see, hopefully on the screen. And I do really like it. I've been using one for a while, but don't just take my word on it. There's, there's over 30,000 five-star reviews literally recommending these wallets. And also the wallet does come with a lifetime warranty. So if yours does break, you can get it repaired for completely free. And the team at Ridge are even so confident that if you do not like your purchase after 45 days, you can get yourself a full refund. So yes, what are you guys waiting for? Replace your old clunky wallet and get yourself a Ridge wallet. A link will be in the top line of the description. Make sure you go ahead and check it out and get yourself a new practical wallet right now. Right, the first pack is opening. Oh, it's the other way around. Lorenzo Insigne is the first one. Oh, these cards are actually really nice in person. Next one up, we've got Turkey. you got Kanan Karaman. Oh, Poland Robert Lewandowski. Uh, Lewandowski, let's go, Greg. Sweden. Sweden. Oh, Harry, my mate Harry, who is it? Berg. Thomas, that mate, I don't, I, it's not, there we go, Thomas Delaney. So from the first pack, I'm gonna take Delaney and Lewandowski. Oh, <laughs> Axel Witzel for Belgium. Oh, that's a nice card. England. Oh, Declan Rice. Oh, I see the way around. <gasps> France! France! Mbappe! Oh my god! Wait! Wait! Oh my god! Look at that! That's gotta be a good one! That's gotta be a good one, right? Sweden, Ludwig Augustinsson. From that second pack, we are definitely taking Witzel, and obviously, it's no debate, Mbappe. Oh, we're the other way around. Oh, Thiago. Oh, Austria. Alexandra Dragovic. It's Germany. Who's Schulz? Mate, I. I... <laughs> this is a sideways card. What am I doing? Like, I've lost all sense of human beings. It's not a sideways card. Oh, Netherlands. Netherlands. Who is Netherlands? They said they haven't had a card yet. Haribo. Jorginho Wijnaldum. We've got Zakaria. Rookie. The rookie Zakaria. So, from pack number three, I think we're going to go for Schulz and Genie Wijnaldum. Ooh, Musa Suzuko. Mario Fernandez, Spain. Carvajal. This one's Switzerland. This is not the big card. This is a rookie card, though. Is that enough? That's, a, that's another. It's a carrot. Rookie. Czech Republic rookie card. Jakub Janto. Jankto. I thought it was going to be some sort of. Oh my god. Whoa. That is, wow, that is nice. From pack four there, I think we're going to take Sissoko and someone I declined in the last pack, and we'll take this time. Oh, I've got a Dutch card. That was actually that was actually a really awful opening of a pack there. France. 
Hugo Lloris. Just if I no. Rookie card, Finland. Robin Lod. T Turkey. Turkey. It looks like a nice card as well. I'm not lying. Soyuncu. Soyuncu. Oh, I thought that was Bruno Fernandez. Ed Edil Milson Fernandez. So from that pack, I don't think we have too many options. I'm definitely going to take Lloris, and I think we'll take Soyuncu just because you've got a Premier League link, and we can obviously link him to Lloris if need be. This is Bernadeschi. Oh, Turkey. Erfan Chan Haveki. Piatek. Oh my god, what is this card design? What is this card design? Oh my god, this card design is so nice. Oh my god, I've gone from the wrong side. It's Gareth Bale. Oh, wow. Oh, a Netherlands card. Who's Netherlands again? Frankie de Jong rookie card. Wow. So there, we're going to take, I think that was pack number seven, Bonadeshi and definitely Bale after that lovely pull at the end. Oh, Rodrigo. Austria. Hinterregger rookie card. France, France, France. Komen. This is Switzerland. Oh, Admir Mehmedi. Mate, look at that car design. Yeah, it does have this. Wait, it's Bale again, you know. I'm Bale again. That's a more of a regular version, I assume, than the other one. So from pack seven there, we're going to take uh, Kingsley Komen and Rodrigo. <laughs> it's a, that's a rookie card, so it could actually be all right if they do well. Ramos! Hey, oh, Spain's had some decent ones. Oh, this is a this is a top of the class. We got a top of the class, the first one. Croatia. Ivan Rakitic. Ivan Rakitic. Top of the class. That's the first one. Portugal. I don't think these go for that much though, but if it is a Ronaldo. Ah! <laughs> ah! God, Dolce is a Ruben Diaz, mate. Now, pack number eight, we've got to take Pogba 100%, and I think we'll take alongside him Ramos. Memphis the Pie. France. Oh, I went, I went fast there. That's Benjamin Pavard. Gulherm. Turkey! Who's that? <laughs> Who's that? Is that even a good card? It looks kind of good, but... Tim Spav rookie card. So from that pack, we're going to take, I think, Depay definitely, and Pavard. I guess there's not many other options, so we'll take him as well. Oh, Sancho! Spain, Saul. Saul, he's a, ball, he's a baller. We've got Lazaro. Italy. Emerson Palmieri. David Alaba. David Alaba. It's not bad. Pack 10 would definitely gonna take Mr. Jaden Sancho, one of my favourite players. And then also Saul. Okay. Oh, a, ro a rookie Frankie Dion again, yeah. Varane. Poland. Uh, it's not as great as Raka. And then for the final pack, we're going to take ourselves Frankie De Jong and also Raphael Varane. All right, so they were the packs. So now let's get ourselves into building this team. All right, so now we're over onto FIFA. Here are all the players we picked from the packs. A lot of Bundesliga I'm seeing. So I think we're going to get a lot of Bundesliga players in this. It's a bit of a change because we usually have a lot of Premier League players in these challenges. So let's get into figuring out formation and building this team. All right, formation. I'm thinking like something like a 4-3-3. Three, three. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So if I kind of get to work on this, obviously our only goalkeeper choice is Lloris. So he's going to go goal. Our centre-backs are going to be definitely Delaney, who's already in there, and Varane, wherever Varane is. There he is. Um, then I'm going to put Pavard at right back, as he's our only right back. And obviously our only left back choice is also Schulz. So Delaney's not going to have the most chemistry, but let's get a bit of a French connection in this midfield. Pogba's going to be in the midfield um, with Suzoko. And I don't know who our right centre mid is going to be as of yet. But left wing, definitely. Kingsley Coburn for the chemistry. And obviously, striker is definitely going to be Robert Lewandowski. And then, right wing, we've got the choice of either going Bale, keeping Wijnaldum there, or bringing in Jaden Sancho and getting me a link with Lewandowski, who probably will work out better for us. That would probably would work out better for us. Actually, we can switch these about and possibly get some better chemistry for some other players as well. We do have Mbappe, though, so I feel like he might be my super sub. Oh, wait, Bale can actually start. I just realised. I think that's probably why someone told me to put Sissoko. Obviously, that does dampen down Lewandowski's chemistry. Maybe if we switch this up again and then bring us a carrier now, maybe that is our better option to go with 
and that obviously increases Delaney's chemistry. Ah, okay, maybe we go for something like that. Okay, so I think we've got our starting 11. So let's take a look at it again on the screen now. As you can see, in goal is Lloris. Right back, we've got Pavard. Right centre back is Varane. Left centre back is Inform Delaney. Left back is Shaws. Left centre mid, we've got Zakaria. Central centre mid, we've got Vitzel. Right centre mid is Sissoko. Then right wing is Bale. Left wing is Komen. And striker is Robert Lewandowski. All right, so now we've got to choose three subs. That is definitely going to be a hard part, but we'll figure it out. Okay, so the three subs we've decided to go for are Paul Pogba, Kylian Mbappe, and Genie Wijnaldum. So anyways, what we're going to go ahead and do now is go ahead and buy the players we need for this team. And then we can get ourselves into a game. So let me go ahead and do that. And then I'll see you guys when we find an opponent. All right, we finally found an opponent. And our opponent's team is... Decent looking one. He's got that new flashback. Kadiri. He's got Cristiano Ronaldo. He's got playing them of Son, Gomez, Longley, Alba, Walker, to Stegen, Fabinho, Firmino, and Dembele. Wow. Okay, this is going to be interesting to try. Use this team. Could be my second loss of the weekend, but let's see what we can do. We've got Mbappe on the bench. He is going to be our unsung hero. All right, here we go. Let's try our best, boys. Here we go. Bale's got a bit of space here. Flick, flick. Oh, what a flick back. Bale, ball roll. Oh, that's a good challenge from Longley. Oh, he's trying to take him. <gasps> I did not mean to pass that. He was offside. I meant to play that out to Bale. That, bo that ball was actually meant for Bale. Let's go. What a flick around. Zakaria. He's missed it. He's put it wide. Oh. Ball. Zakaria. Second chance. Oh, it's a good save from the keeper. Uh-oh. This guy's got a good chance here. Dembele's running down the wing. Is he going to cross into Ronaldo? He is. He's going to score. I can't believe Varane's not following him. And it's 1-0 to this guy. I think we need to bring our bench on already. Like, I Actually, you know what? We'll hold off to half time. We'll give them to half time and see how it goes. Can Lewandowski do something before he's subbed off? It's not a bad touch. He needs help, though. He can't do much on himself. Like, he's just way too slow. Is that Mbappe there? I score. Rainbow flick. <gasps> Lewandowski. <gasps> he's missed it. He's, he's missed it. Okay. Let's just go to the second half. Let's just not talk about it and get into the second half. Right. Changes being made. Pogba's coming on the left. Zakaria's going on in the middle. Mbappe's definitely going up front because Lewandowski is not doing enough. So, Mbappe up. Pogba on. Let's see what the second half brings. Okay, shite. Oh my god. Wow, okay. 2-0 to this guy. I think he's had literally like two or three shots and two goals. That was a finish and a half from Son. Mbappe, please. Spin. On the outside. And again. Mbappe. Please. <gasps> Bale. Oh, this game does not want me to win right now. <laughs> oh my days. Mbappe. Oh my god, I bought it. Pogba, please. He actually skied it. He's actually skied it. The game does not want me to win. Not good enough. No, he's actually read me. That's a goal. Yeah. Oh, that is so infuriating. I didn't expect him to make that pass to Son. That's why I dived in. And it's 3 0. Fair play to the guy. All right, there we go, boys. That is going to wrap up the game. I genuinely feel like I could have scored at least three goals, so it should have been about three all, but, you know, it is what it is. That is game over. But there is confirmation of the score. The guy definitely scored a fair few nice goals, to be fair to him, but if you take a look at the match facts as well, he definitely did play better than me. I mean, nine shots to my six, seven on target to my two. I had a bit more possession, but he was actually not a bad player. He scored some very, very nice goals. But yeah, anyways, boys, that is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see more like this, make sure you smash the like button and let me know what future videos you guys want to see as well but yeah guys anyways thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy the video and i hope to see you guys next time goodbye